Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is part one of my Inktober drawings so far. This video will feature drawings 1 to 10 and then I'll do two more videos after that doing the rest of them. I've actually managed to keep on top of Inktober pretty well this year. Last year when I did it I really struggled and I was only doing little quick sketches in my A6 sketchbook but it was just the drawing every day was really difficult and I was just trying to do the official prompt list and this year when I looked at that I was just no that's not inspiring me so this time I went with the 31 witches prompt which Jelly Bee I think was the first one I saw share it saying she was going to do it and I can't quite remember who originally came up with that one but this one inspired me more than the official one so this that you're seeing at the moment is the first prompt which was seasonal witch and for it I really wanted to do following the colour schemes mainly of autumn with the browns and the greens like the colours changing in the leaves and I used my Tinge, Mirage and Pro Markers to do this and lined it with my Micron fine liners and Pentel brush pen. This next one was Urban Witch. I wanted to try and get the high fashion trends sort of going in with only the small sort of witch's hat on the top and like at the minute they're all wearing their crop tops with the capped sleeves like they've got bits missing so I thought I'd get that in there and then the next one was Vagabond or um, oh, what was it? it was kind of a joint one Merchant, that was it so I sort of did the more Vagabond Wanderer one and all the bit at the bottom, because I still need to colour these ones, is all like smoke and everything, so she sort of jumped from place to place. Um, the next one was Garden Witch. I don't think this one portrays Garden as much as I'd like, but I am really happy with how the drawing turned out. It's just, I really like the way I've coloured the hair and everything, and then obviously when it's coloured it would look a bit better, because then you'll see all the flowers on it and everything. The next one was Socialite. Now I had to look at what that was to be honest, I, will, I won't tell a lie there, but I really do not like how this went. I wanted to try drawing a male because I don't normally draw male like people, but I, I'm not happy with it at all. So I am going to redo this one for the art book that I want to put all these into. The next one was Oracle. Now this is one of my favourite ones I've done so far and I can't wait to colour it. Again, all of them so far I've used my Micron liners and my Pentel brush pen but yeah I cannot wait to colour that one in. The next one was Seamstress. I think this one still needs a little bit more to give it away. I mean the only hint is the pin cushion on the arm and the like items of sewing items on the skirt so it needs more. Then the next one was Blood Witch. Now this one, it doesn't look like much just from the line art. This is all going to come into it when I colour it. It's all going to be reds and I'm going to do like the hair dripping and stuff like that. It, I hope it'll work, but yeah. Next was Lolita. And now I don't draw, normally draw Lolita because I really struggle drawing clothing, especially skirts and full skirts. But I'm really happy with how this one turned out. And I normally struggle with shoes as well, but I think I did pretty well on this one. Just in my eyes I did anyway. Next is Wicked Witch. Now I really like how this one turned out. Um, it still needs finishing. I haven't finished doing the hat and everything yet. I want to put more like pumpkins and flowers and that sort of thing on the top just to give more of a witchy feel to it. But I went with more the like a witch doctor look for the face and then the dreads and I really like how the hair turned out in this. It took a long time but I didn't finish that all in one day but it came out really nice and yeah so I think that was the last one for 1 to 10 so thank you for watching and I'll s make sure you check out the next two parts and I'll see you in my next video